Hey guys, it's your best friend Zayla and I'm excited to take you guys through to get this New Year's Eve look and also to be filling out my vision board with you guys. So I will see you guys at the end of the video. Happy New Year's and stay safe. We're just gonna get to it. Um, face is already moisturized from using my Tony Moly I'm Rice sheet mask and we're gonna go in with the same base primer I always use, which is my Porefessional Hydrating Primer. The reason why I want to do my vision board and my January planning the night before the new year is because I feel like it makes me feel more ready, more prepared so that tomorrow morning I wake up and I am just ready to hit the day. Next, I'm going to go in with my IT Cosmetics CC Cream Plus. So we're going to apply a fair amount of this to our skin just because my cheeks are really red and I am kind of breaking out here and there. So now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Double Duty Beauty Concealer. I don't know if it's normal, but it keeps leaking out. I don't know if it's because when I first moved here, I bought it back in Arizona and then traveled you know, all the way across the country with it. But if that's normal, let me know. Anyway, I'm going to put the concealer underneath my eyelids, right in between my eyebrows and on my chin. And I'm gonna put two dots there and a dot there. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it all out. 2023 is the year where we're gonna succeed. We're gonna move forward. We're gonna live our best life. I'm going to use my Juicy Beauty, the Organic Solution Setting Powder and it is in 01 translucent for my setting powder i'm going to do what i always do i'm going to take my dry mini beauty blender dab it in the setting powder and i'm just going to set under my eyes with it and i'm just putting the translucent powder right on my frown lines i'm going to take my morphe m527 brush and i'm going to wipe away all of the powder that i did set and then I'm going to take some more of my juicy setting powder and just set my entire face with it. Not too much, I don't wanna make it look matte, but enough to where my makeup's gonna stay. I'm gonna go ahead and take my NARS Travel Palette. It is the Duo Blush and Bronzer Palette, and it's in the colors Orgasm and Laguna. I'm gonna go ahead and take Laguna and I'm going to bronze my face contour my face bronze my face i don't know what the right term is so for my nose contour i'm just gonna take this little random pink stiff brush that i have that i always use for my contour go back in with laguna and trace my nose to my best of my abilities and then i just drag it underneath my eyebrow bone a bit and i'm also going to contour the bottom of my lip a bit just so it looks more like it has a shadow and now for my blush i'm gonna obviously still use my nars duo and i'm going to take my morphe m403 brush and i'm going to apply and then i'm gonna go ahead and apply to the tip of my nose I'm gonna go ahead and take this other random fluffy brush that I have, and I'm going to go in with my Revolutions Highlighter Reload. It looks like this. Can't really see the back too much, but the color is just my type, and the cat broke off of it, so we won't talk about that. And I'm also going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set Spray and just set my face and you're gonna look dewy and wet but it's okay and i'm just going to put it on the tip of my nose and on the bridge of my nose and then underneath my eyebrow bone so i've highlighted my face i'm gonna go back in and spray my face one more time and let that sit and now we have our face our foundation done for my eyebrows, I want to do a little bit more of a darker, fluffier look. Nothing too crazy, still a little bit natural, but obviously darker than these. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. It looks like this. And it is in the shade number four. And 
I'm going to take my spoolie, brush out my eyebrow. I've never really been a tracer of the eyebrows. Usually I flick up, but I think I'm gonna trace them today. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my 24 hour brow setting gel that is also by Benefit and just going to brush these up in a fluffy manner. Now I'm gonna go into my Morphe 35R palette and I'm going to pick out some brown shades. I'm gonna go ahead and use these three colors and this black one. So first things first, I'm gonna use this very thick brush and I'm going to go in with this brown and I'm going to just pack it into my eye. And then I'm going to take the color right underneath it, the darker version. And I'm gonna pack that in my corners. Now I'm going to take this little brown color again with the same brush. And then with this one, I'm gonna take my Anastasia dual head brush that I got in an old palette. I'm gonna take the flat ended side get into my darker color, my black that's down here. And I'm going to just only put it in the crease. With my Morphe M165 brush, I'm going to go back in to my Morphe palette, use that darker color, and I'm going to just outline my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take my Anastasia dual headed brush and just blend. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Liner in black, and it is dirty, let me clean it off. So this is what it looks like, it's in black. And I'm just going to do a very dramatic cat eye look. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Epic Wear Waterproof White Liner, and I'm just going to draw dots along my eyeliner. Now I'm going to take my Jumbo NYX Eye Crayon in the color Milk and I'm going to outline my waterline. I'm going to go ahead and use my Zanufly, Zanufly? I think that's how you say it, Amazon eyelashes and I already cut some earlier which as you can see there's a drastic difference between the two just because my eyes are not as big as they need to be for these lashes. So I'm going to apply my Ardell Duo Eyelash Glue and I'm going to let them get tacky while I curl my eyelashes and apply my mascara. The mascara that I'm using is my L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara that my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer ended up literally getting all over. I'm going to apply my eyelashes and how I apply my eyelashes is I make sure they're super tacky and I put it right in the front of my eye and it should be tacky enough to where you can pull it over and it sticks and it just hooks onto your eye. So now that my eyelashes are applied, I'm gonna go back in with my eyeliner and draw some little fake eyelashes on my bottom eyelid. So I applied these crystals to my eyelashes. I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with my white eyeliner and just put dots on the bottom of my eyelids. So for my lips, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. It looks like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and outline my lips and then apply my lip gloss. Lately, I've been really loving this vinyl color lip gloss from Maybelline. It is Super Stay Vinyl Ink. Maybelline lip gloss. I really like it and this one is in the color lippy Now that I'm all done with my makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair and take it all out The hairspray that I use is sexy hair big spray and play hairspray and here's the final look on that. Now I can go ahead and start doing my vision board with you guys. Here you can see that I was scrolling through Pinterest 
And after I found the pictures that reminisced with me and the goals that I wanted, I went ahead and went into Canva. And with all those photos on Pinterest, I ended up creating a whole file of all those photos and uploaded it to Canva. And the first one that I'm going to put here is going to be this YouTube plaque. And the reason why I'm putting the YouTube plaque there is because I am hoping to hit a um, thousand subscribers and then 400 watch uh, hours so that I can be monetized. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my picture of the Eiffel Tower because I want to travel. And moving forward, I just put a couple of little quotes. I put another travel photo just because, again, we're going to be traveling this year. We want to experience the world and stuff. And, you know, that's some of my goals. So I'm just going to put some more. And then I put this picture of a 2023 Pathfinder in Mocha because in one of my manifestations, that is my goal is to have a car just like that. And then um, I want to be the first millionaire in my family. So you know what they say when you're manifesting, you need to, you know, put it as if you are already doing it. Again, I'm putting another car photo in here. That one is also from the 2023 Pathfinder. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some more quotes in. And then I did put a picture of a new apartment there just because when we do have to move out of here and our lease is up, I want this beautiful little apartment and some little beach dates for me and my boyfriend were another photo where we are just drinking white wine, enjoying the sunset. And then I do have a lot of money photos that I wanna fit in here because we are gonna be making money this year. We're going to be grabbing our bag, running with it, doing as we want. And I kind of just stuck more photos like this girl in the mirror. And just because I want to be that girl, I want to be her. I want to be hydrated while taking care of doing me, doing what it is I need to do. And then putting more quotes in. And again, clean eating because why not? I'm also going to put some photos of places for me and my boyfriend to go, our passports, you know, perfect body that I want. Um... My favorite quote that I put on here is, Mom, I am a rich man. And you know where that's from? You are with the time. And then just more shopping and, you know, those trips to Hawaii and all of that. I've never been to Hawaii, so that's kind of like a dream of mine. And then going ahead and placing my yoga photos and all of that. And then I decided that right here, I'm trying to figure out if I want the I am in there. I'm not sure, but I kind of like it better with just the 2023. And there's my vision board. And there's the video, you guys. Thank you so much for staying till the end. I am so happy I got to show you guys this look and to fill out my 2023 vision board with you guys. Stay safe. Have a wonderful time. I hope that 2023 is the best time ever. Can't wait to see where it takes us. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.